this video i am going to explain you about beneficial aspects of transgenic plants and these transgenic plants are also called as genetically modified plants genetically modified plants means the plants that are produced through alteration of genes alteration of genes the plants that are produced through alteration of genes are called as genetically modified plants or transgenic plants the main useful functions of transgenic plants are genetically modified plants is they are useful in production of production of high yield and second one they are useful in disease resistance disease resistance so they are useful in production of high yield as well as they are useful in disease resistance in addition to these two main useful aspects they have some additional functions they are one is they are useful in made crops more tolerant to more tolerant to abiotic stress abiotic stresses like cold drought salt and heat so transgenic plants are more tolerant to abiotic stresses like cold drought salt and heat and second one they are useful in reducing so reduced reliance on chemical pesticides chemical pesticide so reliance means dependence dependence so by using transgenic plants we have to reduce our dependence on chemical pesticides we have to reduce our dependence on chemical pesticides so the plants that are produced in this way are called as pest resistant crops pest resistant crops crops and second one, uh, and another aspect is transgenic plants are useful in increasing efficiency efficiency of mineral uses mineral uses by plants mineral uses by plants so these are the some of the useful aspects related to transgenic plants and in our syllabus we have some example relating these transgenic plants and they are one is transgenic crop plants transgenic crop plants having having resistance having resistance to pathogens to pathogens and pest so normal plants may attacked by pathogens and pests whereas transgenic plants means the plants that are produced through 
alteration of genes alteration of genes they are having resistance against to pathogens and pests we have some examples they are bt cotton one of the most best example for pest resistant plant or insect resistant so this bt cotton is resistant against resistant against insects insects and we have some other examples in our syllabus so they are transgenic papaya transgenic papaya so this transgenic papaya is resistant against papaya ring spot virus papaya ring spot virus means normal papaya plant may attacked by papaya ring spot virus whereas this transgenic papaya is resistant against papaya ring spot virus and another example that is transgenic tomato transgenic tomato this transgenic tomato is resistant against a bacterial pathogen that is pseudomonas transgenic tomato is resistant against a bacterial pathogen that is pseudomonas and another example is transgenic potato transgenic potato see this transgenic potato is resistant against a fungus that is phytophthora that is phytophthora so these are the different transgenic plants that are showing a resistant against some disease causing agents bt cotton is resistant against insects transgenic papaya is resistant against papaya ring spot virus transgenic tomato is resistant against pseudomonas and transgenic potato is resistant against a fungus that is phytophthora phytophthora and next is transgenic plants suitable for food processing technology transgenic plants suitable for food processing technology regarding this we have an example that is again transgenic tomato transgenic tomato and this transgenic tomato is named as flower sever this transgenic tomato is named as flower sever and this flower sever is bruce resistant bruce resistant means it is a resistant against damage it's uh, resistant against damage so that uh, this flower sever is suitable for storage suitable for storage as well as transport suitable for storage as well as transport so in food technology processes food processing technology transgenic tomato is produced which is called as flower sever this flower sever is bruce resistant means damage resistance so that's why this flower sever is suitable for storage as well as transport storage as well as transport and the third one is transgenic plants transgenic plants with improved with improved nutritional with improved nutritional values values in this aspect we have an example that is golden rice golden uh, rice so this golden rice is rice is rich in vitamin a 
this golden rice is rich in vitamin A and this golden rice is obtained from obtained from Taipei obtained from Taipei means Taiwan it is obtained from Taipei means Taiwan and this golden rice is having improved nutritional value improved nutritional value means this golden rice is rich in vitamin A vitamin A so as this golden rice is rich in vitamin A it prevents blindness it prevents blindness blindness so that is about transgenic plants and improved nutritional values and fourth one is transgenic plants useful for transgenic plants useful for hybrid seed production hybrid seed production so in this aspect a transgenic plant is produced that is brassica napas brassica napas so this brassica napas is produced as male sterile plant male sterile plant so as it is produced as a male sterile plant this will eliminate eliminate the process of emasculation the process of emasculation maybe in your first year syllabus you learned about what is emasculation what is emasculation so emasculation is the simply a removal of stamens a removal of stamens from bisexual flower of bisexual flower of female plant female plant to avoid self pollination to avoid self pollination so emasculation is done in bisexual flower of female plant that is removal of stamens because to avoid self pollination so to eliminate this whole process means to eliminate emasculation this brassica napas is produced as a male sterile plant in hybrid seed production male sterile plant in hybrid seed production so that is the transgenic plant useful for hybrid seed production in this aspect brassica napas is produced as a male sterile plant to eliminate emasculation process to eliminate emasculation process and another aspect is transgenic plants that are tolerant to abiotic stresses caused by chemicals cold drought salt heat etc in this aspect we have two example one is basmati rice one is basmati rice so this basmati rice is resistant against both biotic both biotic and abiotic stresses biotic stress means uh, stress caused by living organisms and abiotic means uh, stress by non living things so basmati rice is resistant against biotic stress as well as abiotic stress and second one is round up ready a round up ready soya bean a round up ready soya bean and this round up ready soya bean is herbicidal tolerant herbicidal tolerant means it is having resistant against herbicides herbicides so these are the two examples uh, for transgenic plants which are showing abiotic stress which are showing abiotic stress mean which are tolerant to abiotic stress caused by chemicals 
cold, drought, salt, heat, etc. So these are the different beneficial aspects regarding to uh, transgenic plants. Now, this is very important in formats aspect in our public examinations. Thank you.